Wow, I've had this book for 21 years. It's called BizOp by Bruce Easley. How to get rich with business opportunity frauds and scams. And this came out in 1993 from Bloom Panics. And they wrote to me and sent me this copy in 1994. So I guess this was maybe a 94 book. I think this was new. And I knew one of their authors, this publisher, Loom Panics. And uh, I've been reviewing things for decades, so I used to get a lot of stuff sent to me. Sometimes I still do. Now this is a really fun book. I just reread it recently and it's very neat and very well organized and this person has been scamming for a long time apparently and tells you how to get into it there's a glossary for all the grifter terminology gets you uh, familiar with laws in the United States you know, tells you not to do this in your own state. That's not where you should be operating. Now, I I see that some of these, well, you know, some of the stuff is dated. There's no reference to the Internet in here. And there's a reference to fax machines. And, oh, that's a, that was apparently a, a very good scam. Although he said it, it was more for the... A scammer with uh, some money to invest. It explains how you can get into this with really no money and no experience and which scams are best to run first until you get the hang of it. How to, you know, uh, use mail drops and uh, advice on using fake ID and stuff. Uh, placing classified ads. It gives names, addresses, prices, singers, and avoiding phone fraud, uh, charities. The charities that apparently do get some of the money, so they don't, I suppose, complain about this. And there are a lot of forms and contracts and limited wa warranties and also um, some of the the legal information is very interesting how to get the uh, the mooch you know the the sucker the victim to sign an agreement in which it will be there will be a lot of ways that they can break the agreement and, that, and thus render it null and void. So you really are kind of in the clear then. And some of this stuff w looks, uh, you know, it, it already looks old-fashioned because it's about 20 years old or so. But it's very easy to imagine combining this and converting it to the Internet and uh, the tax benefits. Actually, there there were, at this time, tax benefits for the victims, <laughs> which were legitimate. So, based on the information given here, you know what to ask about if you want to be a scammer uh, in your region, in your area. Uh, <laughs> raping the American housewife, work-at-home programs, <clears throat> how to place the ads, debate letters, and making things at home, jewelry and stuff like that. The old one of stuffing envelopes. And it, it so it starts out with, uh, it tells you about voicemail and the hook and what a singer is and 
how to pay the singers a percentage on closed deals. That's somebody who's going to claim to have worked with you, know the product, all sorts of stuff like that. You need one or two of those usually, it says. Uh, snack vending, a snack route, all kinds of vending machines, microwave vending machines. How to buy things at auctions, the different types of auctions. This is about uh, a fantastic thing that he had going. He bought a, a dreadful uh, 100,000 units of a dreadful skin care and hair care product from Costa Rica. And how he got rid of all of this. And it's really, really interesting. It was called Rainforest. And there were even some promotional printed materials from the bankrupt owner. Greeting cards and how really it's amazing how to work with legitimate greeting card companies it explains about the displays how to get them how to get them used it the prices suggested are twenty years old and for the united states uh, popcorn and the, here's the breakdown of the costs now on this one the profit for I think it was uh, 10 units was almost 4,000 US dollars and it says I sold and located 10 of these packages in 90 days so his net profit was $39,560 and for the rainforest thing he and his partners uh, netted uh, half a million dollars within six months and you know you you have to close up shop and then you know leave <laughs> you have to get out you know <laughs> you know turn off the phone get you know get out of there those old fax and phone machines how to do how to work with other scammers and this provides uh it's twenty years old uh, again, I should think this would be easy to update. It says don't tell them you found their name in a book. Remember you're dealing with a pack of wolves. Uh, these are locating companies because if you're selling something that uh, a victim is going to place, you know, you say, oh well, we provide you only the best locations, which, you know, I is true in its way. But some of the, some of this is really really devious. Uh, all sorts of things, box manufacturers for charity boxes, charity honor boxes, stuff like that. Plastic companies, toy companies, cosmetics companies, cards, seeds, overseas markets, France, Belgium, Netherlands, Italy, and Spain. Japan, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Korea. There's <coughs> information on government auctions. Uh, defense reutilization and marketing regional sales offices. Very, very, very interesting book. Here's a glossary of the slang. And this is these are this is boilerplate. These are these are not boilerplate. These are you know generic forms to give you an idea of how to word them and National Federation of the Blind contract <coughs> American Association for Lost Children search report central registry for the missing this is really dodgy stuff you know so, I don't need this book anymore, and if you want this book, if you want to buy it or barter for it, you can contact me. Email is nice, um, slobomotion at gmail.com, and I have a website, cutecatface.com. You can just use the contact thing and reach me. Pretty cool. I've got a lot of books like this that are in great condition and... 
Some of them are just weird. I don't know what you would do with them. This one is very interesting. All right, disclaimer. I don't think you should go around scamming people and <laughs> doing frauds. <clears throat> but uh, I do remember this was kind of useful for some research that I did on articles and for some fiction writing. You might like this. All right, Biz Up by Bruce Easley.